Goedag, good day, fellow South Africans and citizens of the world. Yeah, it's the old fart back again. I don't know how you put up with me, but anyway, it is what it is. Now, I'm hoping that uh, our resident expert uh, physician on this channel, Philippe, will put some comments down below this video because it's a very interesting one about the coronavirus and how to actually combat it. And it's from a, apparently a very uh, legit source. So let's see what they say. In the constant battle against the spread of infectious diseases, scientists are continually on the hunt for new weapons that specifically target pathogenic microbes. Now investigators from the Center for Radiological Research at Columbia University Irving Medical Center, or CUIMC, believe they may have found a new low-cost solution to eradicating airborne viruses in indoor public spaces. Now, just last night in the live stream, we we're talking about the way that the coronavirus is transmitted by the air, by little droplets, and that's the main infection area. Okay, so they say here the research team found that continuous low doses of far ultraviolet C or far UVC light can kill airborne flu viruses without harming human tissues. The findings from the new study published today in scientific reports in an article entitled Far UVC Light a new tool to control the spread of airborne mediated microbial diseases suggests that use of overhead far UVC light in hospitals, doctor's offices, schools, airports, airplanes and other public spaces could provide a powerful check on seasonal influenza epidemics as well as influenza pandemics and of course the coronavirus as well. Scientists have known for decades that broad-spectrum UVC light, which has a wavelength of between 200 to 400 nanometers, or NM, is highly effective at killing bacteria and viruses by destroying the molecular bonds that hold their DNA together. This conventional UV light is routinely used to decontaminate surgical equipment. Senior study investigator David Brenner, a PhD and director of the Center for Radiological Research and professor at CUIMC said, unfortunately conventional germicidal UV light is also a human health hazard and can lead to skin cancer and cataracts which prevents its use in public areas. Interestingly, several years ago Dr. Brenner and his colleagues hypothesized that a narrow spectrum of ultraviolet light called far UVC could kill microbes without damaging healthy tissue. Moreover, the researchers demonstrated that far UVC light was effective at killing MRSA or methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus bacteria, a common cause of surgical wound infections but without harming human or mouse skin. Dr. Brenner noted, far UVC light has a very limited range and cannot penetrate through the outer dead cell layer of human skin or the tear layer in the eye or the tear layer in the eye, so it's not a human health hazard. But because viruses and bacteria are much smaller than human cells, far UVC light can reach their DNA and kill them. Influenza virus spreads from person to person mainly through fine liquid droplets or aerosols that become airborne when people with flu cough, sneeze or talk. The current study was designed to test if far UVC light could efficiently kill aerosolized influenza viruses in the air in a setting similar to a public space. In this study, aer aerosolized H1N1 virus, a common strain of flu virus, was released into a test chamber and exposed to very low doses of triple two NM far UVC light. A control group of aerosolized virus was not exposed to the UVC light. The far UVC light efficiently inactivated the flu viruses with about the same efficiencies and conventional germicidal UV light. 
The authors wrote, we showed for the first time that far UVC efficiently inactivates airborne aer aerosolized viruses with a very low dose of 2 mj stroke cm squared of triple two nm light inactivating greater than 95 percent of aerosolized h1n1 influenza virus continuous very low dose rates Far UVC light in indoor public locations is a promising, safe, and inexpensive tool to reduce the spread of airborne mediated microbial disease. At a price of less than $1,000 per lamp, a cost that would surely decrease if the lamps were mass produced, far UVC lights are relatively inexpensive. This could also allow the tool to be utilized in far more places than UV lights are currently being employed leading to potentially wide-sweeping impacts towards diminishing the spread of many infectious diseases. Dr. Brenner concluded, if our results are confirmed in other settings, it would follow that the use of overhead, overhead low-level far UVC light in public locations would be a safe and efficient method for limiting the transmission and spread of airborne-mediated microbial diseases, such as influenza, tuberculosis and coronavirus. So let's see what people have to say in the comments below. Please remember to subscribe to be kept informed. Ring the bell for the updates. Please like this video. Please share this video. And above all, please stay safe.